Cars. Wacky contestants, messy games, the fun car Grand Prix race, and the crazy chase to win lots of prizes. Now here's the guy who puts the fun into Funhouse, Pat Shaw! Yes! On this program on CITV, we don't get the show on the road. We get the road on the show. Welcome to Funhouse! Yeah. Woo hoo! Look at that. Isn't that great today? Fantastic. Hope you had a good day. Now, before we start, I thought I'd introduce the best assistants I've ever had on Funhouse. And here they are, Melanie and Martina Grant! And if you've been watching for 10 or 11 years or so, you'll know they're the only assistants I've ever had. Still, the assistants never change, but the players always do. So today's new ones, bring them on! <laughs> they got good applause, didn't they? They did. You got your families? More than families you. in the crowd? More than <laughs> us? Yeah, yeah. They deserve more than me. Hello, Martina. Hello, Patrick. You look like Beautiful. Martina. Oh. What have you got? Okay, this is. <laughs> Ashley and Jason from Newcastle, and they both attend the Killingworth Middle School! Yeah! That was a very long name, Killingworth Middle School. OK, Mel, you I look have, swell. Oh, I have Kelly and Nathan, and they're from Birmingham, <laughs> and they attend the Linden Senior School. Yeah! So there they are. So I say good luck to all our players on the fun house today. Yeah! Now, I think for the first time in the history of Fun House, I should let Melly and Martina do the rules. Would you like to do the rules, girls? OK, we have three fun field games, yep. each one worth 25 points, yep. and then we have Fun Cart Grand Free Race, that's worth 25 points if you win, and then we have the chance to go through the Fun House! Yeah! No, no, no. Do you notice that? Do you notice that? Now, do you notice they're meant to be twins and, like, it was all Martina? Oh, I forgot my sister, just like that. <laughs> no one's going, what? what uh, uh, well, it's Sorry, all been explained. Yeah. It's all been explained. I'd like to take the boys away and get them ready, OK? We'll let Mel speak a little bit later on. She'll have her big moments. And meanwhile, girls, you can watch this game because the boys are about to be Humpty Dumpty. And uh, when they fall to pieces, they're just going to have to put themselves together again. Come and see! <laughs> all right, all right, here we are then with Jason and Nathan starring as Humpty and Dumpty in this fine small screen production of a top game. No, not the egg and spoon race, slightly different. A race involving eggs. Humpties over here, crisscrossing, bang, smashing into each other to grab from the hay your colour of egg. You then take it back and you sit on it and try and smash it. If it smashes on the way, don't worry about that, because the main proof of the pudding is up here. When you give this a yank and down comes the eggshell and a few other bits, and you then place that around your neck. We are trying to count the largest amount of eggshells around the necks that will be the winner inside of 45 seconds. I'll take this with me because apparently it's worth an absolute fortune. Much like the twins. On your marks, get set, go! Ah! The crowd really seemed to like that one. They really enjoyed that. And I guess if during tea time at home you start throwing things at your brother and sister, I guess you had fun as well. All right, wobbling over here. Humpty one is the yellow. What do we get, Martina? We only managed to get two! Yeah! Oh, yeah. Well, be careful where you hold those, Mel. How many do you get? We got two. <laughs> I don't know how much you have to chill out for those suits, but they're ruined now. Let's rerun the fun. <laughs> well, the scores on the doors make it a draw. 25 each. <laughs> Twins are going like this, don't they? You're on strings. Yes. Fantastic. 
No strings attached. Right, girls question, are you ready from Extravaganza? 25 points for this, good luck. Which annual festival is associated with chocolate eggs? <laughs> Reds? Easter. Easter is right, well done, so we are 25. Now, 25 euros, Reds ahead with 50! <laughs> Good. Okay, and uh, Ashley's here as well. So, uh, what do you want to be? A vet? Yep. Yep. And your favourite thing in the world is? Horses. Yeah, have you got one? No. But you'd like one? Yeah. Every little girl wants a horse or a pony, oh. don't they? Yeah, you like horses? Yeah. Or? Okay. Well, we'll clippity clop on and we'll get on with the next game. It's actually for the girls, seeing as the yeah. girls answered and the girl boys feel rather left out at the moment, but they're so messy, they deserve a few minutes to recuperate. Because we're off to uh, another planet, to the foam pit, uh, just to see whether or not the girls can really steal a star. <laughs> Captain's Log, star date now. Somewhere in space and looking for stars. Looking for someone to be a star. Have a look at our aliens. And have a look at the kids next to Melanie and Martina as well. <laughs> oh, don't they look yeah, great. You're funny. Yay, they're all here. All the gags and more. Uh, your mission to get across this vast space foam pit to the other side to grab a star corresponding to your colour of your team, bringing it back, placing it in your spaceship so you can take it home to be analysed by the other aliens on Earth, you and I. So, what I can do with this star, really? I can take it with me and give it to the star winner as a prize, as well as 25 points. So stand by, 45 seconds, use the ropes if you need help. Get set, go! I actually forgot to warn everybody there about the, um, the cosmic storm that was going to happen because, uh, well, I didn't check the weather forecast. Sorry about that. Blame me. Who's going to be the star then, eh? Is it the reds or the yellows? Let's see. OK. OK. We have got one... Yeah, baby, yeah! <laughs> two, three, four! OK. Yeah! And you, Mr. Thank you. We have one... Of the Reds of Stars. I said I'd give that to oh. you, so well done. 25 points as well. Let's rerun the cosmic fun! Yeah! yeah. yeah. So the Reds were superstars. 25 points! Yeah. I have a question for the fellas now, ready? So assume your position and stand by. Remember, the first one to light up is the first one to answer. In the film E.T., what does E.T. stand for? <laughs> yes. Extraterrestrial. Well done, sir. Well done. Another 25 points. Now, 25 for the yellows, 100. The reds well ahead. <laughs> OK, so your nickname is Nate. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, cool. OK, and what, what are you into? What are you guys doing? P.E., rugby, football and roller hockey. Oh, sports, man, eh? What are you going to yeah. be when you grow up, then? P.E. teacher. Are you big enough and strong enough? Yeah! You sure? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's move over here to say hello to Jason. Hello, how are you? Hi. Your nickname is Skinny, which is ironic because compared to him, you're not. <laughs> uh, your favourite thing is your computer? And are you on the net, are you? Yeah. What's your uh, your email address then? Just in case fans around the country want to email you. Oh, I can't remember it. You can't remember it? That'll be useful. You'll get a lot of mail that way. <laughs> OK. Take them all away because they're all going to play this. It's a doubles game. There we go. Mr. P instructor and Mr. Can't remember his email address. Uh, they're all sorted. It's probably um, all the running around they've been doing this afternoon. But this is a good game, and they're probably quite nervous now on the show, so they probably want their mummies. Here's their mummies of a different kind, Egyptian style. <laughs> now, let me prepare myself for this game. I can't do the accent, but I will wear the hat for you. It's quite a good view for you here, isn't it? But uh, come out here, it's even better. Ah, good, there you are. Now, in this game, 
First of all, I will show you exactly what they'll be trying to get, which is bandages. We keep them down here inside this. We've got this colour bandages. Yep. And of course, we've got that colour bandages, but they are surrounded by gunk, OK? So just slip them back in there. There we go. And it'll be your job to do these mummying things that mummies have to do. Now, our mummies are daddies and our daddies are mummies in this game. It's very confusing because if you have a look at their bandaging, the Egyptian mummies seem to have missed a few pieces. So it'll be your job to go and grab them one by one, OK? And make sure when you do place them on, you also put on the preservative fluid which is kept up here. That will keep the bandages on. The mummy with the most new bandages on at the end of 45 seconds will be the winning mummy. Hence, the winning team. And it's a key game as well. So, the key to success in this is to be fast and not slip up too much. Are you ready? OK, Mel's not sure what to do, but she'll work it out. She's done it for 12 years. On your marks, get set, I'm out of here! They were using this bandage pool as a swimming pool. They were diving into it. Fantastic work from the slaves there. Very good job indeed. Let's see how many we've got. Okay, right. count them up. Okay, we managed to get one, two, three, four. Yeah. Yay! Those bandages look more like hankies now after that, <laughs> game, don't they? Right, over on the yellow side. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's all right. There we go. How okay, many you got? we managed to get one. It seems to me that it's a bit of a score draw. Nice one. Let's rerun the fun. Yeah! <laughs> Jason all played a part there. Fantastic. Brilliant work. Some were mummies, some were slaves. Both teams got 25 points. Big race now. Question for the girls. Just for you ladies, stand by. When you couldn't tell who were the ladies a minute ago. All sorts of things going on. Anyway, here we go. What do you call your mum's mum? <coughs> Reds. No. Sorry? No. Nan. Nan will do for me. Nan, grandma, grand, grandma. Yeah. Yeah. So now we have 50 for the yellows. The Reds well ahead at 150. Yeah. And coming up next, the Funk Art Grand Prix. Yeah. It's like Superman, this one, Daddy. OK, it is time for everybody's favourite part of everybody's favourite game show. This is the uh, Fun Cart Grand Prix, where basically we go for these, but only on the second and third laps, OK? So have a close look at them, all right? Picture that wheel, and when you see it hanging down in front of you and you're revving past it, you grab it, you pull it down, you keep it safe in your go-karts and you give it back to Melanie or Martina, OK? On the first and fourth lap, so other side of the ones where you grab these, you just go full leather quick as you can to get the chequered flag, all right? 25 points for the winning team. Are you all set? Yeah. Are you in there? Yeah. Oh, you are? Yeah. Good. All right, Mr. P instructor, get ready to your carts. Here we go. You guys couldn't stand up and wave your flags, could you? Not yet, but when we start, would that be all right? Yeah. You're not busy or anything, no? Okay. I'll hold on to this for the final fling. Remember, as soon as you see the lights go, you wave. Stand up and shout and scream. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one.
That's what the yellows needed. Congratulations. 25 points to you. Yeah. And out of the yellows now, so head on over there and see how many steering wheels they managed to capture. <laughs> oh. Not a lot. None. <laughs> you were driving too fast, weren't you? You were speeding along there and not managing to grab the wheels, which is important. Could have had 100 points there. OK, Reds, Mel, head on over and uh, do your thing. <laughs> Well, that's not bad, is it? Two. Halfway house, 50 points for the Reds. Final score, yellows, 75. Reds, 200. You're going into the fun house. You've done it. <laughs> See, you'll be that PE instructor yet, won't you, eh? Yeah. Little superstar. Do you like the look at this? Yeah. There you go. I'll make sure that you get one of these in a box, ready to take away for each of you. So there's two in total. And uh, over there, you see uh, Martina, you only get one of her, because uh, you can't have Melanie as well, but you will get the hat and the fleece, guaranteed. One of those each. Well played. Have you had fun? Yep, yeah. Thanks for taking part. Bye-bye. Bye. Well then, little and large, you ready for action? Yep. Yep, you gonna have a haircut before you go in or not? <laughs> no, there's no time. All right. So good luck to you guys. Inside the fun house today, a top list of prizes. Want to know what's in there? Gary King has all the details on what's in the funhouse, and you guys, come on down and join us! Yeah! Plunge into the sunken well to reel in this fish-tastic game. Flip through the ball run for a year subscription to a mega music mag. Stick to the flying fox and treat yourself to a tasty toaster. Don't get sleepy at the snake in the box to pack yourself a snug sack. Bounce down the fireman's pole to hoop yourself a basketball kit. Sniff out the cruel tube to cover yourself in some sweet smells. Turn your TV into a computer at the bobsleigh with a crazy keyboard. Keep an eye out at the big drop for a pair of bionic binoculars. Up and over the A-frame, land you a farmyard friend. Fly up the climbing net and get up, up and away with a cool kite. Dice with danger at the danger net for a funhouse goodie bag. Take on the tall tower to get popular at school with class treats. Leap the giant steps to take home a super skateboard. Or travel through the balloon run and land yourself a top trip. And slip down the wild slide to grow your own crazy crystals. How excited are these kids today? Fantastic. OK, Nathan Kelly, 15 prize tags inside the funhouse that look like this. One of them corresponds to this week's secret power prize. Well, it's been a secret up until now. Let's reveal all. Gary? Take off on this jam-packed multi-activity holiday with fencing, abseiling, canoeing and tons more. That sounds pretty adventurous, an abseiling holiday. Remember, it's a holiday for each of you, OK? So you don't have to stay friends after this. <laughs> you go on your separate holidays. I'm sure you will do, though. OK, let's show everybody at home now where the special tag is hidden. They know. But we don't. The only way you find out is when you grab this. Go grab this tag for me and see what happens. <laughs> there you go, you see. That's what will happen in the show. You grab the tag that's right and it will make that sound. Now, what will you be going for out of all those fabulous prizes? Any ideas? Skateboard. Skateboard, yeah. Um, the trip to Fort Park. Fort Park, excellent. Good adventure part of that, yeah? Nate? Power prize. The power prize. <laughs> but you don't know where the power prize is, do you? I know, but... Oh, <laughs> so we'll find out. OK, who's going first? Hey. OK. But on the step there, you have two minutes to high-five and come back and change over every time you get three tags. Don't forget, these cameras will show everybody at home basically the route you take. So if you're at home thinking, I'd love to be in the funhouse, you're about to go in. On your marks, get set, good luck, go!
just start counting these the up. Way. You stand over here with me, so we'll have a look and see how well you did, okay? You have got, remember this is for each of you, the Mega Music Mag, the Basketball Kits, and the Farmyard Friend, the Top Trip. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> The cool kites. Nathan! And uh, we, we should have lost you. Nathan. Quick. Nathan, you busy or What's not? He got? Here he is, live on the telly and hasn't got the time to come and see us. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Well done. Fantastic. He just went to get those two oh, extra tags go. which were in the time provided. There they were. Go. Okay. Also, the crazy keyboard, Nate, well done. And the super skateboard. Is that good? Yeah. And inside <laughs> the funhouse, you grabbed a tag that corresponded to the power price. So bring it on, Martina! Yeah! Quite interesting here. These cameras on your helmets are now pointing directly at each other. So you'll be able to film how nervous each of you are as you confer inside of 10 seconds and answer this correctly for the fantastic abseiling trip. Good luck. Can you name three of the Queen's children? Charles. Diana. Uh, no. no. Charles, Edward, and Sophie. Uh, Charles, Andrew, Edward, and Anne. Oh, you nearly did it. Yeah, 50%. Yeah. It's not bad, is it? Good. Not bad at all. Yeah. So, not supreme winners, but big funhouse winners anyway, because everything on the floor except for this, because that does not belong here. <laughs> that is all yours. And, oh, it's come back. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll keep that one. You have a nice night. Say well done to our players. See you soon. Bye-bye.